Having suffered defeat in the Heineken Cup quarterfinals last weekend, Matt O'Connor's men were looking to get back to winning ways at the Liberty Stadium, seeking a ninth successive Rabot Direct Pro 12 win and maintain their lead at the top of the table. Brian O'Driscoll was rested, but Leinster fielded a strong starting 15. Richard Fussell was making his 100th appearance for Ospreys. He led the Welsh men out on what was a proud occasion for him. Coach Steve Tandy described his side's next four matches as do or die, as the four-time champions started the night fifth in the table, battling to make the top four. The early exchanges were tight, with neither side creating too many clear-cut chances. Leinster opened the scoring in the tenth minute, when Ospreys were penalised for an over-robust tackle on Jamie yeah, yeah. Heaslip. Jimmy Gopperth landed the kick for a 3-0 lead. It was taking a while for Ospreys to work themselves into the game, but in the 16th minute, with an advantage, Dan Bigger was unlucky to see his drop goal attempt come back off the woodwork. But the out-half did put it between the posts when the subsequent penalty was awarded. Three all, approaching the midway point in the first half. Then on 21 minutes, Bigger fired another penalty over to give the home side a 6-3 lead. Ospreys seem to be getting a grip on the game and they tightened that hold with a fine 33rd minute try. After some good pressure, Bigger picked out Fussell, who flipped it on to Jeff Hassler on the wing and he dived over for the score. A seventh try of the season for the Canadian international. And a fine score for the home crowd to enjoy. Excellent quick hands from Fussell before Hassler went over. Bigger kicked a wonderful conversion for a 13 points to 3 lead. However, just before the break, Leinster got an important score. They controlled the mall from the line out near the Ospreys line, and it was Keane Healy who dropped down over the line for Leinster's first try of the night. It was a score that brought them back to within 3 points when Gopperth converted. Ospreys 13, Leinster 10 at the half-time whistle. The home side extended their lead three minutes after the break with another bigger penalty for 16 points to 10. And he added three more points soon after that for 19-10. But Leinster clawed their way back into the game. Gopperth kicked two penalties to leave just three points between the sides and at that stage they could well have edged in front only for Dave Carney failing to collect as Osprey's line beckoned. A great chance for the Leinster winger to score but to the relief of the home supporters he let the ball and the chance slip. However 12 minutes from time Gopperth equalised with another well struck penalty for 19 points apiece. But Ospreys were desperate for the win to keep their playoff hopes on course. And a bigger drop goal nine minutes from time saw the Welsh men get their noses in front. Quick thinking from the number 10 for 22 points to 19. And a second win in 12 meetings with Irish opposition was now on the cards. The same man held his nerve with a 77th minute penalty to stretch the lead to 25-19. Bigger with 20 of those points. Leinster were unable to respond. And they had to settle for a losing bonus. But it's a massive win for the Welsh men. Osprey still have Dragons, Zebre and Connacht to play. They've given themselves a fighting chance at a place in the top four with a very hard-earned win. Final score at the Liberty Stadium, Ospreys 25, Leinster 19.